morning uh, Tefano, day two, six in the morning, we're on our way down to Monaco to go to Polyfest, uh, we had a great day yesterday, it popped off, the weather was beautiful, we're hoping for another good day today, um, we're going to check out some of the groups today as well, we're going to set up our proper canvas display, so we'll get that interactive mural up and going. Uh, what was an awesome highlight yesterday? We got on Takaya. That was awesome. I always love getting on the, uh, the media and promoting the awesome co-papa that we have with OMG Tech and Mairel. Um Today we have David with us. What up? Hi David. Cambridge. <laughs> yeah, he missed yesterday because it was too early and he slept. Here we are day two at Polyfest. Woo! Setting up the tent Woo! again. Uh, we'll try and go around and talk to some people. We'll try and get some kids on camera talking about some of the mahi that we're doing, how they're enjoying Polyfest. Maybe we'll take some shots of the of the stage, get some performances on there. How oh, I need to head. Oh, got you, butter. Let's get to it. For anyone that wants to know, these are 3D pens. These are have the same principle as a 3D printer. Uh, except that you hold it in your hand and use it like a pen uh, This button over here controls speed this button over here at the top uh, Makes it come out uh, These are pretty cheap 30 bucks 20 bucks on Aliexpress uh, Very engaging kids absolutely love this you can create anything you can draw and then pull it off the paper in 3d uh, Definitely a useful piece of technology and they run using this thing here called filament this is made of pla which is a biodegradable non-toxic plastic made from cornstarch 25 dollars on trade me so pretty easy to set up you can do some cool education stuff we like to do a lot of engineering challenges say building a bridge uh building towers uh and also trying to create kinetic sculptures so this thing over here this is uh, a kite with conductive paint on it we had this working so that when you touch the kite the conductive paint uh, triggers a scene on the laptop of a uh, maunga uh playing some tonga puro music from a kuowo so yeah you can do all sorts of stuff you know we have a uh, a skull that's painted in conductive paint rocket ship and when you touch them different things happen you could do giant war murals you could do all sorts of cool stuff Okay, here we are with our team. So we'll just introduce them. Tell your name to the camera. Uh, Christian. Christian. I'm Adam. And you all know Cambridge over here. Oh, yeah. So what are we doing over here, guys? We are setting up the Makey Makeys to connect to the uh, paintings that people have done yesterday and will continue to do today. And we're going to plug the plug the paintings into the computers via the Makey Makeys so that when you touch the painting, the computer will display the artist's photograph and a voice recording of them. Yeah, you heard that right guys. Yeah. This stuff here is conductive when you touch it. You can send an electric signal down into the machine and it'll play something. Isn't that wicked? It's pretty cool. So who built that thing there? What is it? Oh, okay. I see, I see. Now that's really neat. Got some cool paintings here. Got a crazy robot. Hey! There we go, there we go. There we go. All right, Kirafano, we're here with uh, some awesome wahine kua. They do some awesome mahi. And just introduce yourself and a little bit about what you do for yourself and Rangatahi. Uh, tēnā tātou, ko Zara Tōpūngo, hui ni tēnā nā tāraga moana. E kai mahi au ki te marae o Marirua, ki tāu hui pāranga, ko tōpū mahi, ki te whakatina tēnā, i ngā tauhi, ki auri atu e rātou, ki ngā, um, ki ngā rātonga stem. Tēnā tātou. Yeah. Kia ora, ko Jess Tōpūngo. There you have it. So these awesome ladies are doing some cool stuff for Rangatahi around stems and OMG is going to work with our farmer and we're going to do some stuff out as money. Yeah, that's yeah. Or wherever we need it, eh? <laughs> cool. Awesome.